Have you ever listened to a speech, presentation, or sermon that was so boring? Or one that was so peppy and upbeat that it became challenging to listen to? We need vocal variety and pitch changes in our speeches to make them interesting and dynamic and to keep our audiences awake and engaged. Many individuals who speak English as a second language use the pitch and rhythm patterns of their first language. As a result, the rhythm may be more difficult to follow for an American audience. We need to stress a key word in each sentence. Stress is saying the word with a higher pitch, a louder voice, and a longer vowel. We sometimes even pause before the stressed word. Here are some rules that you can follow for stress. Number one, stress at least one word in a sentence. Number two, stress no more than one word in a phrase or a thought. We can't stress two words together because it sounds like we're yelling. And if we forget to raise our pitch, we might sound angry or frustrated. Let's look at an example. Here's a monotone sentence. The results of this research are astounding. Now let's try it with too much pitch change. The results of this research are astounding. And here's the right amount. The results of the research are astounding. Pausing is also an important part in our message. However, if we don't use the appropriate vocal variety and pitch changes, we may lose our audience. When you're preparing your speech or sermon, write it out first. After you decide where you will pause, now identify which words you should stress by underlining or highlighting them. Record yourself reading this script and listen back. Then decide what you like or what can be improved and make the adjustments accordingly so you can relay the message in an engaging manner. Remember, pitch variety and pausing are key strategies in delivering an engaging speech.